asking what's a musical monk doing here today? You just executed King Richard, and I was part of the entourage. Tell us uh, why you're here at this beer festival, apparently encountering some kind of insurrection. Uh, I'm at the beer festival because I'm the first minister in the Council of Hay and I'm the man who just chopped off the head off King Richard. Could you tell us exactly why you felt that that was a necessary thing to do? Well, if anybody had been following the news and the press since last January, they would know that there was a movement in town. Uh, which was dissatisfied in the way that the king was running his kingdom. We brought him to book on, in April and we brought him finally to book today. We put Richard on trial um, on April the 1st. Richard turned up at his own trial. We found him guilty and sentenced him to death. And today we carried out the execution. Um, the whole idea of it is that Richard declared himself king 25 years ago. Uh, but he never carried through the idea of making Hay an independent nation-state. We have to revive the book town as a cultural and intellectual thing. And we have, by executing Richard and declaring a commonwealth and making Paul Harris our first minister, um, we are trying to recreate the interest in Hay and the worldwide book town movement. And an execution seemed a good way to go. Did he actually turn up for his execution? He was asked, but he said he was going on holiday to Spain. Uh, he did turn up for his trial, at which he pled, obviously, not guilty. He was found guilty by a majority, um, purely because he didn't actually defend along the lines of the charges. Uh, and that's why we brought him here today and cut his head off. And, and did Richard put up a robust defence of his position? Um, at the trial, he tried to, um, by saying that he was going to export little miniature books to the book town in Scotland, Wigtown, as beer mats. We tried him for the state of the castle grounds, if you see all the tatty books in there, which are quite frankly disgusting. And, and why did you pick this particular day to do this? Uh, not purely because there was a beer festival in the Kilbert Hotel, which I now think they want to call the King's Head. I could be wrong about that. There are rumours it will become a royalist pub. Uh, if they do that, we will find another pub to become a headquarters for the Commonwealth. We are going to make Colonel Birch's regiment of foot the honorary regiment to the Council of State in the Commonwealth of Hay, and we will be doing this again next year. I'm the CEO of Colonel John Birch's regiment of foot, which is part of the Still Not Society. And basically, we reenact uh, battles of the English Civil War and live in history in the 17th century. And we've been invited to Hay because they were doing their regime change. And um, the lady who contacted me felt that we were experts in the field, so because we're parliamentarians. And um, we were invited to come down, and that, that's it in a nutshell, really. Okay. And wh whereabouts are you from? Are you local to the area? Well, I come from Malvern, but uh, most of the people here today are from around Herefordshire. And um, so it's just our local members, really. Because, I mean, Hay on Wye is such a nice spot. We couldn't say no, really. Okay. And, and you were approached, were you, to, uh, for this enactment? Yes, yes. Uh, she emailed me and uh, said, um, we, we, we're executing our king. Could you come and help us do that? Yeah. And did you feel that there was necessary to come in force? Oh, yes, definitely. In case there's royalist sympathisers hiding everywhere. So. And did you find any? We found a couple, but they kind of ran away when they saw that they were totally outmatched by our superbly trained soldiers. No connection between us and the festival at all. The one thing about the festival is I would quite honestly call it um, Sky on Y. Um, my feelings about the festival is that there, it is not part of the town. It does create interest in Hay, but because it's a mile outside the town, and with all the commercial interests that take sites on it, it becomes more of a publisher's book fair than a second-hand book town. And that is the difference between us and the festival. Yes, the festival creates hay and keeps interest in hay, but it doesn't actually 
how can I put it, contribute to the idea of the second-hand book because they're all interested in selling new books and that's why we get people like Jeremy Clarkson and so on coming here. What Jeremy Clarkson's got to do with a copy of Dotskayevsky for 50p, you don't know. Um, it's as simple as that. Not, not wanting to appear like uh, a group of overgrown Daily Mail readers, we didn't want to say we thought it inappropriate that the King should ally himself to the SLP and Arthur Scargill. What was even more disturbing for the SLP was that half of the SLP thought the same as us. Um, so we didn't put him out in the cold on that, after all the Commonwealth's about free speech. But we did think that the King's current political activities didn't really take into account the political stance of many people, and hey, many of his subjects were forgotten in that. Having said that, now that the campaign was a disastrous one, and I think that the BMP polled twice as many votes in Wales as the SLP did, um, it is now a discredited campaign, and I have it on rumour, not on good authority yet, that for the next festival, the No Disgrace King has invited Neil Hamilton to be one of his friends, which I think Arthur Scargill will find vaguely amazing if it's true. Richard had the right ideas, but he has not taken them forward. And we had to take that forward. And that's what we've done by executing him today. Well, executing the effigy today. And, uh, yeah, it's good fun. We've had the sealed knot here. They're all over there. Uh, and yeah, if it creates 100 extra visitors a month during the winter months, let's have them. Because this town needs the visitors, it needs the tourism to survive, but we also need the idea of books, rather than your electronic devices, as a means of conveying freedom of thought with all the electronic surveillance that is going on in the world today. And that's it. That's the idea behind it, and that's the idea behind the Commonwealth. And with a bit of luck on a following wind, we're going to establish Hay Corner, based on Speaker's Corner, from the end of October, where anybody can come to the butter market, get on a soapbox, and rant. Um, all right, we'll be careful about the BNP and so forth, but uh, and as long as they're not being too slanderous, it should be interesting. And that's it. And how do you see this going forward? Well, I hope. I mean, the walk will always come back if they want us back, like, you know. I mean, if they bring him back and they need him disposed of again, we're, we're well up for it. So, you know. It's, it's events like this, the bread and butter, really, of our uh, small groups. And, like, I mean, it's slightly outside our normal mandate, but uh, I felt it was, you know, it's, it was an interesting uh, event. I've never been asked to do this before, this sort of thing, so we jumped at the chance.